Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to what will probably be the last unboxing video of 2023 because there isn't just, there isn't that much time left in the year, but uh, I've got it right here. And this comes from Lakato. And as you can see by the shape of the box, it is a ukulele. Now this is interesting because in the past, I've done several unboxing videos for Lakato, a lot of accessories, a wireless guitar system, guitar strap, a microphone, some things like that but never an instrument. So this is new that they're getting into uh, string instruments here. So I'm anxious to, uh, to get this one open and check it out. Okay, box top is off and we have a gig bag. We have some accessories as well. Set that to the side and that's it for the box. Okay, so we can see our gig bag here it has the Lakata logo on it. It is a canvas gig bag, not particularly padded, very, very little padding. Um, typical of a lot of these, you know, ukulele packages that you see. Additionally, I want to point out that I can already see that the zipper only goes to right there. And so that means it does not open all the way, which that is one of my pet peeves on ukulele gig bags. I like the ones that open you know, that unzip all the way to here, because then what happens is you try to open this and you're always fighting the bag to get the ukulele out but in any case here is our ukulele so let's go ahead and get this out of the wrap here here comes the reveal ta-da oh this actually looks really nice let's see here we've got aquila strings according to the little tag here all right so let's take a quick look at the ukulele here let's start with the headstock here and i really like that headstock shape it's kind of unique um, and then on the back of the headstock, we see four seal gear tuners with the black buttons. The Lakato logo is actually sort of burned in or depressed into the wood. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. According to the literature, this is a solid mahogany ukulele with rosewood fingerboard. They don't call out the uh, bridge material, but I would assume it is also rosewood. Um, it appears, well might actually be a different material from the fretboard now that I'm looking at it. It looks a little shinier than the fretboard, so it might be, I don't know. I don't know, in any case, uh, it's not called out, but it does say that the saddle and the nut are bone. Um, it's hard for me to tell just by looking if that's bone or, you know, fa uh, a, a simulated bone. But in any case, they claim that it's bone, so I'm gonna believe that. Around the sound hole here, we've got this little kind of rosette, and I really like the way that looks. That's really uh, adds a neat aesthetic to it. You can see we've got a binding on both the top and bottom, and you can see we've also got this uh, sort of asymmetrical body shape with the slightly curved back, which I do tend to prefer on a ukulele. No uh, fretboard binding, but that's okay. Um, it does have like a, an open pour finish, but it looks really, really good. Hopefully you can see that. It's actually a pretty nice looking little ukulele. We've got strap buttons there and there. Um, looking inside, I do see kerfing and bracing inside the body. It does look like it's very well made. So there we go. Let's take a look at the accessories that came with it. Okay, so here's our little accessory pack. Let's go ahead and open that. And the first thing we've got is a clip-on tuner. There we go. We've got a ukulele strap. Uh, this looks like, hold on, let's actually open this. So this looks like the type that, yes, this is the type, this is different than um, the typical type of, of ukulele strap. So typically what you see with these kits is one that hooks on the strap buttons. This one just goes over your head like this. And then this comes around and actually hooks into the sound hole. Let me show you that. So what you do is you actually hook clip this into the sound hole and then you do this. And the nice thing about this is you don't have to drill your ukulele to put strap buttons in it. But the bad thing is, is if you let go of it, it you know, it wants to kind of flop down like that and it can easily come off. Um, it's an interesting move that they use this strap when they've already put strap buttons on the ukulele. So that's kind of different. Also in the accessory pouch, we've got another set of strings. I, hopefully these are Aquila strings like the ones that are on there. And it looks like we've got a few guitar picks as well. Let me get those out. Nothing special here. They're sort of that perloid material guitar picks. They feel like they're a fairly thin weight, maybe a medium, but there you go. All right, that's all the accessories. 
and the ukulele. Let's tune it up and see what it sounds like. Not bad. It actually sounds pretty darn good. I mean, it's hard to uh, to beat the tone of mahogany. It's a great sounding wood and it's got a nice snap to it, but it's still got a little warmth from the wood. Um, not a bad sounding ukulele at all. By the way, if I didn't mention it earlier, this is the concert scale. Okay, so what's the verdict on this one? Um, for $60, I think it's a heck of a deal. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the gig bag. I don't really like the strap that it includes, but it is nice that it has the Aquila strings and it comes with the tuner. Two very handy things, and the uke itself seems to be pretty darn good quality. If I was to really use one of these, I would probably get a different case for it and a different strap for it, but those are relatively easy things to replace. Um, overall, I think Lakato's done a good job with this. I'm glad to see them getting into string instruments because they do a great job on all the accessories and things. So I would recommend this if you're looking for an entry-level uke. Pretty good value. And if you like what I do on this channel, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up for me. I will see you guys soon.